Sudan, where is Hemati, the leader of the Rapid Support Forces? The Rapid Support Forces, RSF, leader General Mohamed Hamdain Daglo, also known as Hemati, has been absent for over 40 days. This absence raises questions about Hemati's whereabouts and concerns about his safety. He is also not communicating with the media and television stations, as he did at the beginning of the war that broke out on April 15th, which pits him against the regular army. He no longer appears on the ground in Khartoum among his men. On May 15th, in an audio recording, Mohamed Hamdain Daglo stated that he was still in Khartoum with his men. On May 30th, his brother Abdurrahim Daglo appeared in Khartoum to affirm that Hemeti was in good health and leading his forces on the front line. On June 28th, in another recording broadcast during Eid al -Adha, the former sent his wishes to the Sudanese people without specifying his location. Well-informed sources in Benghazi claim that Hemeti visited this Libyan city, led by his ally Marshal Khalifa Hafta, a month ago. But he may have moved since then because he is very concerned about his safety, says one of these sources. Some Sudanese observers report his presence in the border triangle between southern Libya, eastern Chad, and the western Sudanese Darfur region. According to some analysts, he may attempt to depopulate western Darfur and retreat there with his forces in case of failure against the regular army in Khartoum. Who is General Mohamed Hamdain Daglo, a.k.a. Hemeti? Hemeti, whose full name is General Mohamed Hamdain Daglo, is Sudan's Rapid Support Forces, RSF, leader. The RSF is a paramilitary group established in 2013 as part of the Sudanese government's response to rebel movements in the country, particularly in the Darfur region. Hemeti rose to prominence through his leadership of the RSF, which became known for its involvement in counterinsurgency operations and maintaining security in Sudan. Under Hemeti's command, the RSF played a significant role in the Sudanese government's response to various conflicts, including the Darfur and Yemen wars. The RSF has been praised and criticized for its actions, with allegations of human rights abuses and violations linked to its operations. Hemeti himself has been a prominent figure in Sudanese politics and security affairs. His influence expanded beyond the military and has been involved in negotiations and power dynamics within the Sudanese government. His disappearance and concerns about his whereabouts have raised questions and speculation about the current situation in Sudan. The Rapid Support Forces, RSF, is a paramilitary force in Sudan. It was officially established in 2013 as a successor to the Janjaweed militias active in the Darfur region. The RSF was formed to counter rebel movements and maintain security in Sudan. The RSF operates under the command of the Sudanese government and has been involved in various conflicts and operations. It has played a significant role in response to the insurgency in Darfur and the conflict in South Kordofan and Blue Nile states. Additionally, the ISF has been deployed outside of Sudan, notably participating in the Saudi-led coalition in the Yemeni civil war. The ISF has been both praised and criticized for its actions. Supporters view it as necessary to combat rebel groups and maintain stability. However, the ISF has faced allegations of human rights abuses and violations, including attacks on civilians, sexual violence, and looting. These allegations have drawn international attention and led to calls for accountability and justice. Hemeti, whose full name is General Mohamed Hamdain Daglo, has led the Rapid Support Forces and has played a prominent role in shaping its activities and operations. The conflict in Sudan has reached a critical point, with two rival generals fighting for control. The situation has resulted in hundreds of casualties, thousands of injuries, and the displacement of hundreds of thousands of people. Several countries, including the United States, have evacuated their personnel from Sudan and closed their diplomatic missions there. The conflict started on April 15 when tensions between General Abdel Fattah Burhan, the commander of the Sudanese Armed Forces, and General Mohamed Hamdan Dagalo, also known as Hemeti, the head of the Rapid Support Forces, RSF, escalated into violence. 
These two generals were once allies and carried out a military coup in 2021, disrupting Sudan's transition to democracy after removing a longtime dictator in 2019. The RSF, a powerful paramilitary group, originated from the Janjaweed militias used by the Sudanese government to suppress rebellion in the Darfur region in the 2000s. Sudanese forces and the Janjaweed were accused of war crimes, leading to charges of genocide against Sudan's former dictator, Omar al-Bashir. The integration of the ISF into the Sudanese army has been a point of contention between Buran and Hemeti, contributing to the current conflict. If the fighting persists, it could escalate into a prolonged civil war with dire consequences for Sudan and the region. The international community has urged the warring parties to engage in dialogue and cease hostilities, but proposed ceasefires have been fragile. The United States is particularly concerned about the conflict's potential to spread and destabilize the region. However, how much influence the U.S. and other countries have over the warring factions is uncertain. The conflict in Sudan carries significant risks beyond the immediate humanitarian crisis. A protracted battle could increase migration and strain neighboring countries already facing economic challenges. There is also a risk that militant groups could exploit the security vacuum and use Sudan as a haven or a launching pad for attacks in the region. Given Sudan's history as a state sponsor of terrorism, there are concerns about the potential impact of the conflict on regional security. Sudan's stability is crucial, and the absence of solid national institutions poses further challenges. In summary, the conflict in Sudan is a critical situation that demands immediate attention and concerted efforts to bring about a peaceful resolution. The international community, including the United States, is working to encourage dialogue and ceasefires. However, the conflict's complexities and the warring parties' entrenched positions present significant obstacles to a swift resolution.